In this video, we are going to be reviewing the Polar H10 heart rate monitor with chest strap. Let's get into it. So the Polar H10 is touted as one of the most accurate heart rate monitors out there. It's a chest strap, so it, meaning it goes around your chest and you can wear while you are doing physical activity. The chest strap itself and the heart rate monitor is waterproof, so you can do it while you are swimming or any other activity with water. So right now the Polar H10 is a heart rate monitor and it also with the app has a tracking GPS for exercise. So it retails on Polar's website for $90. If after this review you think that the heart rate monitor may be worth trying out you can actually go down into the link in this video and you can grab that and I'll get a little kickback for doing the review so I'm not affiliated with them in any way this is a totally honest review but I'm gonna give you everything I got right here so the polar h10 comes in two pieces the first being the actual heart rate monitor itself as you can see this is a separable piece that actually has clips that you can go to the strap again it's completely waterproof so it can be immersed in water and this is the sensor that actually picks up your heart rate while you are wearing. The second piece would be the actual chest strap itself. Now, as you can see on the back, there is a different material. So every single time before you actually wear the chest strap, you would want to go and run it underwater. And in the process of running it underwater, it'll help actually help you get more accurate data. And as you can see in this video, you'll actually be just wrapping it around you, clipping it, securing it tightly, popping on the heart rate monitor itself, and getting on with your workout. Now here's a little example of me working out with the heart rate monitor. Um, as you can see, this is the real time tracking of the heart rate. So you can actually open the app, you can press start and while you're working out, you can see the heart rate monitor going up. So if you want real time results while you're working out with where your heart rate is currently at, as well as stats on how many miles you've ran, your pace or anything along those lines, the app and the heart rate monitor does a great job with that. Now, as far as the heart rate monitor itself, it is a very, very simple product. All you have is the heart rate monitor and the strap. The strap is made with this very nice stretchy material. You can adjust it. It fits a bunch of different sizes. I believe they have a medium and an XL. So there's only two or three sizes, but it adjusts very nicely. Um, it has these little nodes on here that help you connect even more. And then of course it just has the simple strap. So the strap itself is actually very, very comfy. It's very simple to wear. And if you tighten it well enough, it's still comfortable while remaining fit on you. So you can still get accurate data. Now I'll walk into the actual app and a walk through of that in a second. But as far as this heart rate goes, honestly, it's a super, super high quality heart rate. It's been a lot of fun to be working out in it and seeing data. I do wish it had slightly more features. This is only the heart rate monitor that you would wear throughout the day, whereas a lot of fitness trackers that people wear are more for measuring throughout the day and also for their sleep. And so with this, this is only for measuring workouts. If you're gonna wanna track sleep quality, if you're gonna wanna track heart rate throughout your day, it may be a better idea to look into certain fitness trackers, whether they're from Polar or somebody else. But besides that, this is a great way to log your workouts, track kind of where your heart rate is at and the benefits from your workout and overall Polar has made a very, very high quality product. Now the situation that you would want one of these over a actual wristband or any other fitness tracker is that these results are much more accurate. So if you are getting down to the science of getting your heart rate to a certain point, letting it drop to a certain point, or staying in a certain zone, this would be your best bet for most accuracy. But again, if you are looking for a more holistic approach and you're looking for sleep quality and heart rate throughout the day, this would not be your choice. However, like I said, it has been very, very fun to track workouts. It has been very, very fun to put this on before every workout and kind of see where my heart rate's at and be able to scroll back through the app and see all my workouts and see the progress I've made. So it's been an actual awesome addition to my workouts and just to my library of tracking things. So let me know in the comments. I'm curious, what are your thoughts on the heart rate monitor? Do you have any questions about it? I'll answer it if I can. And with that being said, let's get into a review and a walkthrough of the app. Okay, so here we have a look into the Polar app. This is what you get when you open the app and when you're all signed in. So you can see here right now, I'm wearing the heart rate monitor. This is my current heart rate. And then if we shift over, we're going to see the opportunity for GPS. So certain exercises have GPS and certain don't. And then basically you're going to be able to select the individual training type. So these are my pre-selects that I have open. 
Um, if I click the little plus button right here, it's actually going to open up and give me a very, very wide variety of different activities and sports. Um, they really get down to it with this. They have wheelchair racing, water skiing, they have trail running, trotting. Like, if you're doing an exercise, odds are this app is going to be able to track it. And so, as you can see, if I scroll down, it saves all my individual sessions. You are going to need to sync this up and track the app while you are working out. But if I want to open up a run, let's say if I go to my three mile run right here, then I'm going to tap on that and it's going to give me all the information I need. So we got the duration of the run, the distance of the run, my heart rate average, the heart rate max, the calories I burned, the pace I had, the minute mile. Uh, if I scroll down, it actually can tell me what happened during my training. So I improved my aerobic fitness, speed and ability to sustain high intensity effort for longer in this training. And then it actually tracks my heart rate throughout the entire duration of my run. If I were to break it down to when I'm burning fat versus when I'm improving my fitness, this is going to be fat, this is going to be fitness. And then if I go to pace, we're kind of going to see the pace throughout the run. So you can see here the pace kind of dropped for a second and here. Um, I'm genuinely assuming this is just a kind of a short issue with the app. It hasn't been the most accurate because the pace should be pretty consistent throughout, but it still does a very, very good job in terms of tracking distance and also tracking the heart rate throughout the workout. And so if I were to track a workout route right now, let's say that I was going to do some high intensity interval training. So I would click the start button. Training started. Let's say the training started, I could swipe and I could change this from the amount of time in each heart rate zone, or I could actually have a graph that's gonna track the heart rate. And I'll do some burpees in a second so you can see that bump up. But right here, we've got the distance ran, if I am on a run, how many calories I've burned. We've got the speed. You can change that to pace or speed by tapping on it. And then the same thing with the heart rate, you can get the actual beats per minute or the percentage of your heart rate max. And then of course the duration is gonna be how long you've been working out. So I will do some you burpees just so you fat. can kind of see how this works. So you're gonna slowly see it start to bump up. As I continue to push, And you can see it's real time. And that's slowly gonna bump up as I'm doing burpees. And so if I were to wanna track, a uh, good strategy to really do you some are short- You improving fitness. Some short and quick high intensity exercise is to work up to the zone five and then let it drop down to about zone two and then start again and continue to do that for your workout. But <laughs> I'm out of breath. That is the app. Once you're done, you can just click pause. Training paused at one minute, 16 seconds. When you click stop, this one's gonna tell me it's Training too short. Training stopped. So I can either save the session or obviously I'm gonna delete this one. But that's it, it logs your workouts. It's a great way to track. It's a great way to make sure that your workouts are super efficient, that you're tracking your heart rate max and your heart rate throughout the workout. You can also see personal best, which I'm a little confused about because it's telling me my personal best in calories was First place, 168, but then second place is 386, and kind of the same thing with each category. But it is cool to kind of see this being broken down. So there is the app interface. So that's the review of the Polar H10. Again, if you have any questions, make sure to post them in the comments. If you're looking for more awesome reviews that are gonna help you perform as an entrepreneur, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And then also if you are an entrepreneur and you're looking to simplify your health, Make sure you check the link in the description for our private Facebook community. We've got a lot going on in there from weekly trainings and some other awesome stuff to help you simplify the process of getting healthy and feeling incredible. So I appreciate you guys a ton. Reach out if you have any questions. Remember, eat smarter, sleep deeper, move more, and be grateful for this moment. Let's go!